A moving target is a hard target. So whether you're on the attack or on the defense, keep moving. The easiest way to keep moving is to be shifting side to side, forward and back, and using basic footwork concepts. So today, as part of our Self-Defense 101 series, we're going over the basics of footwork. Stick around. What's up, warriors? This is Kiyoshi Dave Herman with Five Elements Tactical Training, here to share with you some warrior skills and drills that anyone can learn and everyone should know. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And thanks for stopping by. If you already follow us on social media and that's how you find your way over to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button and the little toggle where it says all notifications so YouTube will let you know when the next video drops and you get all sorts of cool content from here as well. So we're following up with our Self-Defense 101 series and we're working on some basic footwork concepts. It's uh, pretty simple stuff. And the, you know, we've had videos on striking and blocking and stances and kicking and, and some of those things. Footwork is both part of how you deliver, you know, your, your strikes and use your blocks and sometimes, you know, somebody's being real aggressive on you and it's not just a block but you got to kind of back up or get off to the side and what we call get off the X and that's something that in all fighting, whether it's martial arts, self-defense, firearms, uh, defense against somebody with a weapon or multiple attackers, footwork is key because if you're staying still, you're a very easy target. So in this lesson, I just want to keep it real simple and the easiest way for me to describe this to you is that Regardless of the stance that you're in or where your guard is or whatever technique you're trying to do, the concept is this. Whatever direction you're going to move to, you move the foot that's closer to that direction first. So if I'm going to go to my left, I step with my left and then I drag my right. If I'm going to step to my right, I step with... <laughs> if I'm going to step to my right, I step with the right, drag the left. If I'm in a fighting stance, when I go forward, I step with the foot that's in the front. When I want to go back, I step with the foot that's in the back. If I'm going to go to my right, step, go to my left, step, and whatever other foot, the foot that's left behind, you just kind of drag it with you, okay? Real simple, first things first, whether you want to do it from a natural stance, like in a firearms training, we call it get off the X. So like, again, a moving target is a hard target. So if you freeze, freak out, deer in, in headlights or whatever, and you don't move, and action is always faster than reaction. So if somebody's like trying to sneak attack you, you're already like behind the curve, no good. So that's why it's almost got to become uh, part of your knee-jerk reaction to just move and get your guard up, step back, step forward, step just anywhere except for right there, okay? So from a natural stance, just shift to your right, to your left, to your right, to your left, to your right, to your left. And notice whatever stance I'm in, when I'm done moving, I'm in that same stance. So when I go to my left, if my left foot moves, let's say 12 inches or one foot, or wherever you're, you're uh, one, one pace, the other one slides a pace. One, two, got it? So if I have my left foot in front, however far forward my left foot goes, my right foot slides. However far my right foot goes, my left foot slides. To the right, to the left, forward, back. So we use footwork as part of delivering our attacks as well. Sometimes if it, the attacker is coming quick, you're gonna kind of move back and block or move to the side and block. But when we're going to hit, oftentimes it's not just, oh no, and this type of stuff, which if you're punching correctly or with an elbow strike, whatever, that's good. But the thing that's gonna help you cover more distance, like if you went to like swing at somebody and they see coming and they move back, like you should move back. Well, how do you move more forward then they are moving back so that you can still make contact and deliver like a, a good strike. So to stand still, if you're driving your hips, you could get a good punch or some decent power in that. But the thing that's gonna help you cover more distance, penetrate your target further, like doing more damage when we're lunging. So it's not just shifting forward. It's like, yes, I'm sliding forward, but I'm using my back leg to propel me, like to launch me forward. Yes, my front foot is moving, because I want to move toward that target. I'm going to go forward, my front foot moves first. But as I'm sliding this foot forward, I'm using my back leg, which is already bent. So there's some, like when a snake attacks, it's got to be coiled up first. If the snake is flat, it can't launch because it needs to have like that spring to it. So if your legs are completely straight, you can't really launch. So you should have some spring in your steps ready to propel yourself. Same thing goes for going backwards. My front leg is meant that if, the attacker moved in on me, I could shift backward or to, a, to the side. So you're taking that very simple footwork concept 
I want to go right, I step right. I want to go left, I step left. I want to go forward, I step with my front foot. I want to go backward, I step with my back foot. Same concept, but the thing that helps you cover more distance is using, while well, the, I'm going forward, my front foot is going to step first, but my rear leg is going to be the motor that propels me. Got it? The spring that launches me. Oftentimes, the direction that you're going to move is contingent on the direction of the attack that's coming at you. So I tell people all the time, like, if you have somebody that is super aggressive and they're like charging, running at you to grab you or whatever it is, and the natural reaction is move away. So it's coming straight at me, I'll go straight back. I say, if you were on train tracks and the train was coming at you, would you try to outrun the train by running backward along the tracks? That doesn't really make sense, right? You just get off the tracks. So if somebody's coming straight at you, sometimes the best bet is to move to the side. Now again, in very simple concepts, very simple context, I'm saying forward, back, right, and left. But ultimately, you're gonna be working angles. So the next level up is if you could think of like a, uh, a compass or a, uh, is that a compass? <laughs> What's the thing called on a map? Oh, the legend, north, south, east, west, and then it'll have northeast, southeast, northwest, southwest, like the British flag. It's got like the plus and the X, right? So you have straight forward, 45 degrees, straight left, 45 degrees, straight back, 45 degrees. And you work, basically you cut it into eight slices, right? The next level up from that is gonna be like a clock. So instead of cutting it down to 45 degree uh, angles that you're gonna cut and look for for attack and defense, now you're gonna cut it down to 30 degree angles. And this is for a whole nother lesson on for a whole nother video. But the idea being, if this is the attack coming, and I'm gonna step like forward and left for me, and I just go 45 degrees, I'm in a good spot where I could throw a lot of techniques, but if I cut that angle a little bit shorter, so now instead of going like, tw think of it like a clock, 12 o'clock, if I go 11 o'clock, well now I'm in a different range where I could fire a lot more techniques. Uh, I could grab, I could grapple, there's a lot of things. If I step more like 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, well now I'm gonna be more in punching range low kicking range. If I step totally nine o'clock, depending on, they're not gonna stand still either, but if I step nine o'clock, well maybe now I can stomp on their knees and uh, knee strike to the side of their leg, that dead leg, common peroneal spot. Remember that the footwork is the basic thing. The map of which direction you're gonna move is the next level up. Having more than one option of, all right, forward and left. Well, forward and left close to grab them or forward and left like a little bit further so they can't grab me, but I can still strike them. For some of you, it might be a little bit advanced. If, it's, if this is too much, tell me, let me know in the comments, and I'll do another video, make it more basic, and focus a little bit more on, on one of those, these pieces of something. If uh, this is right up your alley and you're digging it, let me know. If you think I'm doing it wrong, I guess let me know. There's uh, more than one way to skin a cat, and, and I'm all ears, man. I'm a student first, so uh, I, I love hearing from you guys and learning this stuff, so uh, hey, I'm, I'm all ears. Okay, all right, so we have the footwork of just step, right? To whichever direction. We have the idea that when I shift and I have a stance that's too wide now that I gotta bring the other foot with me. We have the concept of when I step and I'm gonna drag my foot, but I need to do it like quickly or cover more distance, I'm gonna kinda lunge into it by, yes, stepping with the foot that's closer to the direction I wanna go, but by propelling myself with the other foot. Make sense? If your legs are completely straight, you can't do that. So we have to have some bend in our legs. We're gonna keep our guard up. And again, if I have the opportunity or the option, I'm always gonna try to bring the fight to the opponent. I'm always gonna try to bring the fight to the bad guy. If I can't talk my way out, walk my way out, run my way out, and I'm forced to defend myself, well, there's no more backing up unless you absolutely have to. Which brings me to the point of, yes, of course, sometimes you gotta go backwards. A good rule that I try to follow and I, I try to teach and, and I'm a little strict about with my students. Um, if somebody's being aggressive and you back up once, no sweat. You back up twice, okay, but you, if you go another one, before you know it, they're gonna bulldoze you till you can't go back any further and now they're gonna know, well, hey, you're either gonna stay put so they can work on you or you're gonna go right or left. And it's kind of like on that, who wants to be a millionaire and you you're like, give me a 50-50. Whereas from here where I have, you know, 360 degrees to choose from, they don't know where I'm gonna go unless I let them. But I don't want that to happen. I wanna be the one who controls where the fight happens and, and the distance and the angles and whatnot. So 
you could back up once, you could back up twice, but after that, we gotta pick a side. We're gonna have a whole nother video on the concept of pivoting. This is more lunging, shifting. Pivoting is where you kind of pick a side, either they're being super aggressive and we get off the line. Uh, we're wrestling around, I'm holding on to you, you're holding on to me, and I'm gonna kind of like, instead of trying to muscle you, you start to push me, I'm gonna let you push, but I'm gonna pull and try to redirect you and kind of use your energy against you. A little easier said than done, doesn't always work, but uh, the more stuff you know, the more items you have on your tool, on your tool belt and in your toolbox that you could go to if and when you need it. But again, guys, stick to the basic stuff. Hey, you wanna do the fancy stuff, that's cool, but if you're here for this self-defense and like defensive tactics and like real deal street self-defense, I don't wanna burst your bubble, if you want to learn fancy stuff, I'm cool with showing you some of the fancier stuff that I know and that I teach and that I'm, I'm okay at, but uh, the idea of five elements tactical is use what works, all right? Use what works. That, that's what it comes down to. Keep it simple, silly. Hey, while we're on the topic of five elements, those of you that know the five elements, self-defense, defensive tactics, martial arts stuff, the firearms and weapons training, the prepping, the emergency preparedness stuff, the survival skills or the warrior mindset. Which one are you here for? And if you're, this is the first video you're watching and you think it's just this, well, check out the other stuff, of course. But those of you that are my, uh, my warriors, man, which one are you most into? Because I know some of you are here for all of it and some of you are here for very specific things. Whatever, whatever reason you're here for, I, I appreciate you being here and I love the, the support and all that stuff. But um, let me know, which one are you following the most? Or if you're here for more than one, let me know that too. So typically when you're going to attack, we're gonna use that rear leg to propel us forward so the, the front foot is moving forward, the rear leg is driving us forward, and we're either grabbing and punching or, you know, palming and striking or kind of coming in with our, you know, bringing our fight to them. Oftentimes, if they're the one driving on you, you might like, yeah, put your guard up, oh, try to keep some distance, or back up and cover, but again, to try and keep that, dis that distance to buy yourself some time, distance, which gives you a chance to think, even if it's for, if it's for a fraction of a second. Again, if you're going to move to the side or whatever, it's going to always try to be with your guard up and, and your eyes on them and trying to use as much of your peripheral vision as possible to be aware of what's going on around you. But the most simple, simplest, is that, <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, the most basic, the most simple footwork is just the idea of shifting, shifting, whether you're blocking, the attack is coming, get off the tracks, work your blocks. Uh, if you forget the block and all you remember is, oh my God, guard up, well, that's better than the deer in headlights. So again, the footwork, basic one first, shift forward, shift back, shift right, shift left. You could use the same concept for working those angles like the, the plus and the X and the clock, whichever direction you're going to move. If you're going to move, step with one, pull the other. Again, we'll have another video on pivoting and there's a million uses for it, but uh, for now, stick to the basics. I really want to thank all you guys for all the, the likes and comments and sharing and Oh my God, shouting it from the rooftops. What I really want to thank you for is for shouting it from the rooftops and really helping the channel grow and passing it on, passing it on to other people. And uh, it's, it's just awesome. It's, uh, I, I love how much you guys are loving the channel. And I can't thank you enough. Really, really from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. It's a, uh, I put a lot of work and a lot of effort into it, hoping that it would, it would, uh, do what it's doing and now that it's doing it it's like such a I was motivated before you guys started like sh you know shouting from the rooftops but now that you are it's like oh my god it's like drinking six monster drinks man and just hey I gotta go film a video hey I gotta go edit a video hey I gotta get this one out I just wish I had more time in the day and, and days in the week and, and whatnot but uh thanks guys I really appreciate it I love you well, if you made it this far and you like what I'm teaching and preaching, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like this video. If you're loving it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you got to have it, make sure you hit the bell notification button and the little thing where it says all notifications so YouTube will let you know when the next video drops. If you're really digging it and you want more, you can find me on all social media platforms at 5 Elements Tactical. That's all I got for now, Warriors. So until our paths cross again, pray for the best, prepare for the rest. I'm Kiyoshi Dave Herman with 5 Elements Tactical Training. Thanks for watching.